I'm Dr. Michael Ujiki. I'm the director of our simulation lab here at North Shore University Health System. I'm also in charge of our minimally invasive surgery curriculum. And I can tell you that the uh, lab mentor and the GI bronc mentor are absolutely vital to our uh, simulation curriculum here at North Shore University Health System. We have residents and medical students come in every week, several times during the week, to not only practice but also test on both the lab mentor practicing FLS tasks as well as great case presentations that come on the simulator. We also have the residents and students practice on the FES component of the GI Bronc Mentor and it gives the residents a lot of confidence going into the actual tests and it would be difficult to do any sort of simulation training without either simulator and we feel very lucky to have it. Obviously the simulators have uh, a cost up front but we find that we have been able to use them over and over again uh, affecting many different students and residents coming through our laboratory. Our laboratory is open during the day every day and we have residents that come in even uninvited or in unscheduled times coming in to practice cases on both simulators. We uh, did quite a bit of research uh, amongst all the simulators that are available and chose these two not only for the fact that they had the most wide array of interesting cases on them but also had ample teaching modules to enhance their skills training. We were a, a beta testing site for the FES module and so we did have novices and experts as well as intermediate people come through and test the FES modules on the GI Bronc Mentor. So we, we did have some input into the development of the FES testing. These simulators also have the ability for us as teachers to download the results of students from a remote access like a computer from home. I can check and see what the residents have done and how well they've done. I don't even have to be here necessarily when they're doing part of their testing or training. Residents that come through our two-month rotation will do every case on the lap mentor. They will do the laparoscopic ventral hernia module, all of the cases. We'll have the senior residents also do the laparoscopic gastric bypass module and the sigmoidectomy module. Junior residents will come and we'll have them do all of the cases in the laparoscopic cholecystectomy module as well as a lot of the basic training exercises. And having the FLS tasks on the lap mentor has actually saved us money so that we don't have to go through materials every time they practice. They can practice on the lap mentor and not use up materials. The GI Brock Mentor will have the residents also practice a lot of the endoscopic cases. There are close to 60 cases, both lower and upper endoscopic cases. We've also purchased the EUS and ERCP modules for our GI fellows to train on. We have also our thoracic fellows practice the bronchoscopy module as well as the EBIS module. So uh, we've really been able to take advantage of all the modules that are offered on the GI Bronc Mentor as well as the Lap Mentor. The Lap Mentor and the GI Bronc Mentor are absolutely vital to our simulation curriculum here at North Shore University Health System.